What is up, Gemini? Welcome to your weekly general timeless reading, meaning that whenever you are most guided to this reading is when it is meant for you. And it's general, so if it doesn't resonate, that's perfectly fine. Don't force it to fit. Check out your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm doing readings a little different this week. I'm going to be doing jumpers. As you know, I am an intuitive reader. Unless you're new to the channel, then welcome. Give it a thumbs up. Press that subscribe button. Help the channel grow. Join our weird, goofy family. And um, let's get into it, Jen. So, intuitive reader, I'm going to do jumpers this week because, as you guys know, I kind of just go with my gut. Um, I really want to use Sun and Moon Tarot for you guys. It's kind of like my gentle deck. It's when someone's in not a vulnerable state, but, like, I'm ready to allow myself to be vulnerable. I'm ready to indulge, right, in, in life. And, Gemini, I think you're about to, like, you're on the edge. Like, you're on the edge. You're like, yeah, do I want to do it? Do I not? Real quick shop talk, you want to become a patron, tier three patrons that sign up in the month of September do get a free two question reading with me. Um, and if you want to book a personal reading, Reiki session, because I'm a master Reiki practitioner, I do have appointments available through my website as well as tarot lessons and mentoring if that's something you're interested in. There's a card that's flipped over in here. I saw it when I was shuffling. Where are you? I guess it doesn't want me to find it. We will find it eventually, though. There it was. I saw it again. Ah, there you are. The Nine of Swords. Ah! Gemini energy. <laughs> but yeah, you can find all that information down below. And again, this is Sun and Moon Tarot, so all the tarot decks I use will be linked in the description box as well. Let's see what's going on, Gemini. Show me what I need to see for my Geminis. I just heard, go for it. <laughs> go for it, Gem. Go for it. Gemini, you've been having like very uh, interesting readings lately, like very, um, a lot of I'm ready to do things for me kind of vibe and I like that. Oh, that's a lot though. Yeah, three of swords. I feel like this is the energy you're coming out of. Then we have the eight of cups with the six of pentacles and the knight of cups followed by the two of wands in reverse, the king of cups and the page of swords. And in the center of the reading is the hangman. Sorry, it's really humid in North Carolina and I was just outside, so my hair feels just like it's sticking to my face right now. Um, okay, so we have this past energy, three of swords energy, Libra energy. Okay. It feels more like disappointment. It's it's almost reflecting on all the things that have gone wrong. This feels like a very past energy. Some of you are still kind of in this reflective period period. Um, and then we have the hangman underneath it. The hangman is a new perspective. It's the time out. It's you, I almost feel this is you voluntarily taking some time out to just kind of be alone. I don't think that you've stopped hanging out with friends. You're a Gemini, you love friends, but when you're alone, it's, it feels like very deep thought, very deep thought time, right? Because you're trying to go after the things that make you happy. You're ready to start building what actually speaks to you emotionally. With the Six of Pentacles, that's creating balance. It's also the card of receiving. And then the Knight of Cups, that's following the heart space, right? And the Eight of Cups is you leaving things that no longer emotionally serve you to find your Ten. The Eight always leads to the Ten. Pisces energy with the Eight of Cups and the Knight of Cups. And then we have the Taurus energy with the Six of Pentacles. Hangman, more Pisces, a lot of Pisces showing up. Then the energy coming in is this King of Cups with a Page of Swords. You may be waiting to approach somebody, or this might be somebody trying to approach you, but whoever this is, whoever their Ten of Cups is, right? Somebody is going to come in and communicate all their love in a very affectionate way, right? Because they've been waiting for a while with the Two of Wands in reverse. This is a very vulnerable opening up the heart space. I like this. Oh, my lanta. So sticky right now. My window is open. Hurricane Sally on the way through, no less. Let's do Witch's Tarot for clarifiers. Show me what I need to see for Gemini in regards to the spread, please, spirit. Gemini, I'm really proud of you. I feel like I've been saying that in your last few readings. Like, you guys have been doing a lot of work. A lot of work, Gem. Let's look at this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here for Gemini? It's the recent past energy. Yeah, Eight of Swords. You're really reflecting. Yeah, reflecting on the heartbreak so you can move forward. This is literally you going through the purge. We've been talking about this. 
Three of Swords and the Eight of Swords, meaning that between that is the Five of Swords, right? That defeated energy, the conflict. And it's you really reflecting on it. Really thinking about what's disappointed you, what's hurt you, what's left you stuck, feeling trapped. And you're like, okay, I'm ready to release this. I'm ready to move forward. Chariot, Cancer energy, Gemini energy with the Eight of Swords. Let's look at the new perspective you got on the hangman. I heard attachment. That is a theme going on for the readings I've been doing this week. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Getting a new perspective on what your stability is. Justice, yeah. And what doesn't serve you. What's not balanced. Yeah, what, wow. This is, ooh, this is kind of heavy, Gem. It's you realizing the things that you had in your life that weren't balanced, that weren't building your happiness, that were leaving you very confused and feeling very stuck, very teeter-totter, back and forth, right? A lot of indecision. Three of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Nine of Cups, Pisces, Justice in Reverse, Libra. This is clarifying the hangman. So this is what you were observing. This is what you were looking at, right? All things that weren't working out, that were leaving you really confused, that you weren't emotionally satisfied with, that were very imbalanced. And this is you taking very methodical, very slow action to fix that, to build something more stable. And that's what you were basically, it's like, how can, how can I create something that is stable, that does bring me balance, that does stand the test of time, that isn't faulty, that doesn't fluctuate. So let's look at what you're walking away from. This feels like current situation, this feels like immediate future. This kind of feels like the past. Some of you are still actually in this a little bit. But let's check out this Eight of Cups, what you're leaving behind. It does feel like people for some of you. Others, it's definitely a job. <laughs> definitely a job. Let's look at the Eight of Cups. So just take it as it resonates, right? Five of Cups, the things that upset you. What do we got next? The Eight of Cups, yeah, some of you is definitely work. Eight of Pentacles. Uh, Virgo energy and the eight, uh, the five of cups. Sorry, I'm getting, my brain's getting very scattered all of a sudden. Um, this whatever the situation was, it, it just it I get, don't even like holding these cards. It just feels overwhelming. It feels confusing. It feels draining. A lot of you is definitely working in the corporate world. It just reminds me of when I worked in the corporate world. Like overwhelming. Like they want me to be a workhorse. I'm not emotionally satisfied. I'm so tired of being here. Others you was a connection where you were really investing a lot of time and energy and effort into it, and you just felt that you weren't getting the same in return. One, two, three, four on my clock right now. By the way. And just so you know, I'm not, well, this clock doesn't say it yet. It says one, two, three, three on my phone, but my other one says one, two, three, four. Just letting you know there's synchronicity going on. Five of cups, Scorpio energy though. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. I knew I forgot to say that. Okay. Let's look at the six of pentacles. But so this is what you're walking away from, whether it be people, whether it be a job, whether it be an environment, it was very draining and very, um, it just fogged the head. It just feels like you would go home and want to just sleep and sleep and sleep or cry. Some of you definitely cry. Let's look at the Six of Pentacles. The High Priest, Taurus energy. And the Two of Cups, beautiful. Beautiful, you're following your soul's path now. You're open to receiving it, it's coming in. It's coming in. Some of you are calling in a very divine connection with the Two of Cups. Other of you, others of you, that's just your soul's path. The Two of Cups doesn't have to be romance. It doesn't have to be a partner. It can literally be your soul's path. Cancer energy, Taurus energy, and more Taurus energy with the Six of Pentacles. I love this. The High Priest is the teacher. It's, it's the guru. It's the mentor. But it's also religion, contracts, spirituality, a higher consciousness, your higher self. It's connecting with... It's literally being guided by the divine towards either a very divine connection or your soul's purpose. And Spirit's like, I know you're ready to receive it. I know this is going to bring you balance. It's going to bring you the stability you're looking for. Some of you definitely have been manifesting this. Let's look at what it is. With the Knight of Cups energy, this is you heading towards that happiness, right? Heading towards whatever resonates with your heart space, whether it be a person. Oh, yep. Ending, ending the heartbreak, ending the despair, ending the overwhelm, the stress, the anxiety, everything that was hurting the heart space. That's done with the world. Capricorn, Saturn energy, Libra energy with the three of swords. Very nice. You're moving on from that. Oh, I love that because this is what's ending and this was the recent past. Remember the three of swords. So you got it twice. Whatever it was, it was not making you happy. Yeah, a lot of conflict. 
Even through all the conflict though, you're very determined to keep moving forward. That's the Wounded Warrior card with the Nine of Wands, Sagittarius, and then Aquarius with the Five of Swords. Nine of, Wand, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior, that's somebody who's been through it. They're very tired, they're very burdened, there's a lot of on their plate, but they're not giving up. They're gonna keep pushing forward. Very resilient. Let's look at the Two of Wands in reverse for Gemini. Gemini, look at you go. Yeah, you manifested this ending and you have a brand new beginning and no more anxiety. Beautiful, beautiful. You literally manifested this transformation for yourself. Death, Scorpio energy, Mercurial energy with the Magician, Virgo, Gemini. And then we also have, by releasing the lack, by releasing the things that weren't fulfilling you, you, let, you made room for the brand new beginning, the Fool, Uranus, Aquarius energy, Taurus energy with the Five of Pentacles. And what's that do? It releases all the stress, all the anxiety, all the fear. Ah, oh, I love this Gemini, because that was the decision, the two of wands, you chose your path, so cool. Okay, no more decision, you made it, we're on. You're on to it, you're on to the new beginning, very nice. Let's look at this page of swords. This page of swords is just so sassy, it's like, look back at it. Like, just look how she's standing. <laughs> let's look at the page of swords, please. Actually, let's look at the king of cups first. Why is the king of cups here? Going from a Knight of Cups to a King of Cups. Oh, this is the new beginning. It's just not time yet for this to come in. Oh, you got the Sun, the Page of Wands, the Six of Swords, and there's the King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're not here yet. It's coming, but you're not here yet. This is definitely the immediate future. Because the King of Cups in reverse, it's just saying that emotionally you might not have fully released this yet, but you're definitely working toward it. This is the future, so it's obviously what you're working toward. Eight of Wands, Sagittarius, Ace of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So this is being blocked from the new beginning right now. We're clarifying the King of Cups just to remind you. And that new beginning is it's what you're really passionate about. It's what you want to move forward. It what's it's what piques your childlike curiosity, right? That fun, the playfulness, and it brings you all the happiness, all the abundance, everything you want. Leo energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius with the Six of Swords. It's gonna move you towards calmer waters too. It's moving you towards something that serves you to your highest good. And in this particular card, there's literally dragonflies all around the boat. Dragonflies are literally indicative of death and rebirth. So massive transformation. With the King of Cups in reverse, we're still working on healing this Three of Swords energy. We're still working on ending this cycle, okay? So no wonder I was really pushed to do the King of Cups first. So let's clarify the Page of Swords. This is the clarity. What is this? Yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse and the Four of Swords. Don't be too impulsive. There's still some healing to do. That's it. That's the clarity. That's what you're seeing. Okay, I'm not going to charge toward it just yet. As much as I want it, I'm not going to charge just yet because I know I still have a little bit of rest and healing to do. I need to rejuvenate. I really need to get my strength back because remember, this is someone who feels really beaten down, really worn out, a Nine of Wands energy. You're gonna be fine, Gemini. I'm super excited for you. This is a very straightforward read. I'm sorry it's a little shorter than usual, but this is what I have for you, Gem. I hope you guys enjoyed the spread. Please like, share, subscribe. If you want a personal reading, book it down below. I'd love to have you as part of the Patreon family, so you can check out all that information in the description box, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.